Welcome to Studio 805. Today is Wednesday, March 14th. I'm Gretchen Macarella with your news break. President Bush's decision to declare a disaster area will allow farmers affected by the freeze, which wiped out millions in crops, to apply for federal disaster unemployment assistance and food. The announcement was made yesterday and is most likely to help food banks in the area. And speaking of that sort of help, on Friday there will be food distribution at the Mary Star of the Sea Catholic Church for 700 families. The Board of Supervisors heard yesterday that the county budget could swing into the red next year because of recent cost increases, mostly from the Sheriff's Department and Health Care Agency. County CEO Johnny Johnston said he is predicting a $4 million to $6 million shortfall in the $852 million general fund. That's about a $10 million difference from this year's projected surplus of $5 million. A frustrated developer vented when the Ventura City Council delayed the next step in approving a 50-home development. During a late-night meeting, John Geyser said the process made him want to run. You can read the rest of the story in the dig-in section. Oxnard police arrested two men Monday night on suspicion of robbing a gas station. Police said this morning that the armed robbery of the mobile station on Ventura Road happened just 20 minutes before the arrest. The officer saw the surveillance tape and recognized someone walking into a home. Police say they found a pellet gun in the residence, which they believe was the weapon used in the robbery. Also, early this morning, sheriff's deputies arrested a 16-year-old Thousand Oaks boy after a short car pursuit. It ended just after two minutes when the teen crashed into a power pole near Jans Road and El Monte Drive. He was arrested and booked into Juvenile Justice Center. Many county schools are celebrating Pi Day this March 14th. Using the date and even the time, schools are driving home that central figure of geometry, Pi, and adding a little of the pastry as an incentive as well. The ratio of the diameter to, of a circle to its circumference is 3.14159265358979393, etc. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm Gretchen Macarella at Studio 805 at the Ventura County Star. Click around the site for entertainment news, links, and videos.